Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Boynick here, back again with a brand new video today. So this is now the 10th and final episode of my series, which I review every single Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus TV show and TV special up to the release of Secret Invasion. Today we're going to be reviewing Werewolf by Night, which came out last fall and was directed by Michael Giacchino. So this is a very interesting change of pace for Marvel, because it's actually a Halloween special, and I didn't get around to watching it when it came out because of stuff that happened, but I finally got around to watching it now for this new series, and I can't wait to talk about it. And something I actually didn't know until the, the special was over was the fact that this was directed by Michael Giacchino. For, for those of you who don't know, Michael Giacchino is a film score composer. He was one of my personal favorites. And for those of you who don't know, he's actually worked quite a bit with Marvel in the past. He did the score for the Spider-Man Home Trilogy, and he's also known for scores like the score for Rogue One, and for The Batman, and for Up. And he's, he's a fantastic composer, he really is. I didn't I had no idea that he was interested in filmmaking, and I found out that he was with this special. And this was actually his first directorial credit, and I gotta say, he did a great job. I was really impressed with what he was able to pull off with this special. So let's talk about this special and why I thought it was so great. So as I said, this special was already directed very, very well. I thought that Michael Giacchino directed the hell out of it. I mean, this is a like horror project, which is really interesting for Marvel. It's definitely a change of pace for the company. But they actually like decided to take kind of some risks with this, and the way that Giacchino directed it was just masterful. I was really, really impressed with what he did. And I genuinely would like to see Giacchino direct some more stuff in the future. I feel like he should direct a full-length horror film. I would go watch it. If you guys haven't seen the special, you should check it out, because he really, he directed it very, very well. Like, there's some genuine moments of horror in this thing that made me, like, wonder what was going to happen next, and made me scared to see what was going to happen next. The directing was fantastic. Like I said, it took a lot of risk for an MCU horror project, a lot like how Sam Raimi took a lot of risk for Multiverse of Madness. There's genuine moments of horror. There's moments where I didn't know what was going to happen. There's moments where I was scared of what, what was going to happen. And something else that they did is that there's a lot more like blood and gore in this special, which is really interesting because, you know, Marvel seems to be taking a little bit more risks with some stuff. I mean, they're tying in the Deadpool and, and Logan X-Men stuff into the MCU, it seems like, with Deadpool 3. And they've already established that the Defender Saga is canon to the MCU. And there was also some risks they took in Multiverse of Madness with some of the scenes with Wanda with the with some more blood and gore. And in this one, it's even more graphic, I would actually say, than Multiverse of Madness, which is something I did not expect for an MCU project. I really was really surprised by what they were able to do with the blood and gore. And I don't know if it's because maybe the special was shot in black and white, so they were able to like take out the red and all the color from all of it, so it looked, you know, less scary or less graphic but like they they really did take some risks i was not expecting to see this much blood and gore in a marvel movie i was like what am i gonna see they were like an mcu project that's a very nice change of pace and took a lot of risks and i really respect them for that yeah, it's a breath of fresh air for the mcu as i've already said and there's some beautiful use of black and white in this special sometimes when i see things in black and white i'm both excited but also a little bit skeptical at the same time because sometimes i feel like black and white is kind of you can be used as a gimmick and other times i feel like black and white can actually be used to tell the story and thankfully for this one, it feels as a way to tell a story, but also to pay homage. It pays a lot of homage to old black and white 30s monster movies and TV specials, which is really cool. If you guys are fans of those, I think they're really going to like this special. Very beautiful use of black and white. And I'm not sure if this was filmed on real film or not, but it has like film grain kind of texture to it and like burns and like hairs like within like the <laughs> the the screen and like i'm not sure this was made on real film or if this was just like effects they put in there but like it looks fantastic it really does look like something that like could have been made during the 30s minus some of the more up-to-date cgi shots you know but it it looks incredible it's a really beautiful use of black and white in the movie the special also is a very simple plot that follows through very very well it's not an overly intricate plot it is a little bit uh like intricate but it's not so much the point where it's like you have to like really 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 like dissect it you kind of just like you have to pay attention but you don't have to really just like hone all your attention into like one thing to fully understand it you can look at it and be like okay this is a very simple story that follows through very well it's not overly complex but it's executed very well there's also some very good acting in it i think gael garcia bernal is really good as jack russell i thought he did a great job uh laura donnelly is also really good as elsa bloodstone and harriet sansom harris i'm hoping I'm getting her name right was great as verusa bloodstone i thought she was fantastic Really good performances all around, really strong performances that stick the landing for this special. Yeah, the, the, there were some really good performances here. There's also some really great CGI for the special, especially for the creatures, which I won't spoil if you haven't seen this show, but the werewolf CGI stuff and then the creature that we see looks fantastic. And I was kind of wondering how they were going to pull off like CGI superhero stuff in a black and white looking movie that could have been in like the 30s. 
they did it really well in the directing style very cohesive all feels something that flows together very well it looks fantastic all the ideas come together very very well Giacchino did a great job with this so although I really do like werewolf by night I do recommend checking it out I have two flaws with this special that I'm gonna go through the first one is that I wish it was longer it's a 50 minute special 55 minutes I think so it is short I do kind of wish it was longer had it maybe been like an hour and a half I, or maybe like an hour and ten minutes something like that I probably would have enjoyed it more I felt because I felt like there was so much good stuff going on the fact that it got cut short it's like this is really good this is why I'm talking about who I think Giacchino should direct more stuff in the future if he made a full-length horror movie I think he would do a great job this was a great TV special I don't see why I shouldn't do a full-length movie this was really entertaining with a very well direction and my second flaw I've written down is that the actors are great and they are great but their characters are not the most memorable and that's mainly due to the fact that it's a very just simple story and it's a very short story so yeah very good acting the acting is great I'm not denying that at all it's a fun story it's an interesting story but the character is not necessarily the most memorable people ever due to the limited amount of time you have but it is still very good I do recommend checking the special out yeah in the end werewolf by night was a great change of pace with the MCU it's a it's really surprisingly really good it's a shocking change of pace it's also a very risk-taking change of pace and I really appreciate it I thought Giacchino did an excellent job with it I'm gonna give it an overall rating of an eight and a half out of ten I wish I could give it a higher rating because it is really entertaining but it was a little bit too short so I kind of wish you know, it would have been longer, but I think 8.5 out of 10 is a good rating, and I'm going to give it an overall grade of an A-. minus. So that's it, guys. This is the final episode. We finally have reviewed every single MCU Disney Plus TV show and special up to the release of Secret Invasion. I'm not reviewing the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday special because I already reviewed that back when that came out in November. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, you can go check that out. I will, however, do reviews for Secret Invasion. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do short-form content for like when each episode when they come out, spoiler-free, and then whenever the actual season wraps up, I'll do a full spoiler review on Secret Invasion. But I will be posting like weekly short-form videos for the episodes as they come out, and I'll make sure to keep those spoiler-free because I don't want to spoil them when they're happening. So I am looking forward to that. Uh, I'm also looking at my schedule of stuff I have going on. By the time this video comes out, there's not going to be any more videos the week after this. It'll be uh, about a week and a half after it on Wednesday the 21st when Secret Invasion premieres that you'll finally get more videos like this again. Also, I recently went and saw Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, so if you guys have not seen my review for that, make sure you go check that out. And if you want to support the channel, feel free to check out any of my other Marvel reviews or check out any of my other videos. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to support the channel even more, feel free to hit the like button. Also, feel free to subscribe and even hit the notification bell so you get notified about my latest videos. And go click the link in the description to go follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok as I post a lot of content over there. Yes, thank you guys so much as always for watching, and I guess been it. Peace.